Very good morning, my dear friends. This is Arayz Obi, and today we are going to see about the ten yoga mudras and their benefits. Yoga is about more than twisting your body or performing tough asanas. There are many other world practices that can be used in yoga. Yes, my dear friends, and today we are going to see about the ten amazing yoga mudras, which has an amazing benefits to your mind, your body, to connect and then align with the cosmos. Yes, let's see about what is mudra. Here comes the question, mudra, what is mudra? Mudra is a Sanskrit term that means gesture or attitude. Psychic, emotional, spiritual and artistic gestures are all examples of mudras. Mudras are something characterized by ancient yogis as energy flowing postures which meant to connect individual pranic force with universal cosmic force. Yes my dear friends, now you have a doubt, how these mudras have to be done? And what is the importance of this? Let me tell you. Yes, my dear friends, mudras are said to subtle physical moments that can change one's mood, attitude or perspective. And this helps to increase concentration and alertness. A mudra can be a simple hand position or it can encompass the entire body in a combination of asana, pranayama, bandha and visualization methods. Is it possible for us to control everything in our fingers? Yes. Here is a question and here is the answer for you. Yes, my dear friends, mudras are higher rituals that help the prana chakras and kundalini to awaken. It restores pranic balance within the koshas and allows subtle energy to be directed to upper chakras which result in higher state of consciousness. Each mudra establishes a distinct relationship and has distinct influence on the body, mind and prana. Prana is nothing but breathing. Yes, my dear friends. So, when you want to be stay away from diseases, because uh, this is the period where so many diseases spread and especially we have come out of this COVID. So, to make ourselves, our body and mind balanced, we are in an imbalanced position, our body. So, to make it balanced, we need to produce and we need to align all these shortages with the excess of any of the five elements which is called air, water, fire, earth and space and in Sanskrit they call it as fire as Agni and Vayu as air and Akasha as space and Prithvi as earth and Jala as water. So how we are going to control this with the five fingers? Yes my dear friends, today we are going to see about the most effective mudras for curing all these ailments. So now I will tell you about all these five fingers, what it stands for. The index finger it stands for air. The thumb finger it stands for fire, the little finger stands for water and the ring finger stands for earth and the middle finger stands for space. Yes my dear friends. Now it is an question about what is this going to do? It is going to balance our body, mind and have an alignment with the cosmos. And moreover, one more thing is mudras modify energy flow changing the equilibrium of air, fire, water, earth and thus facilitating healing and health restoration. Is it something new? Yes, for other countries it is new. It has been taken from India. In China they call it as Chai energy in English and in India we call it as Prana. So here we control everything with five fingers and now coming to the mudra, the very first mudra is called as Jnana Mudra, Psychic Gesture of Knowledge. What is going to do with this? This is one of the most fundamental yoga mudras which increases your concentration and knowledge. And now you have a doubt about it, how you need to do? Yes, you need to sit comfortably in a meditation pose. It is a Padmasana or Sugasana. Yes, my dear friends, your index finger should be folded such that they touch the inside root of your thumb. Straighten each hands, the remaining fingers, the three fingers so that they are relaxed and slightly apart. Now with the palms facing down, place the hands on the knees, hands and arms should be relaxed. This is the first mudra, jnana mudra, which increases your concentration and knowledge. Yes, my dear friends, before going to the next mudra, let me tell you on what time, where, how you need to do all these things. The best direction is northeast. Another same thing is the timing is more important. Fix a time. 
Because it has uh, all that, each and every one, we fix a time for eating, we fix a fire time for sleeping, we fix some time for each and everything in our life. Similarly, fix and particularly when you do meditation, when you do meditation, it is important that you fix it by early morning, which is called as Brahma Murta. It varies. It can be 3.30 for someone. But what Rishis and here in South India, what Siddhar says is, 4.16 to 5.20 This one hour in the early morning is a perfect time for collaborating and aligning your mind body to cosmos It's now coming to the second mudra Yes my dear friends Chinmaya mudra which is an awareness This is one of the most effective mudras for physical and mental well-being How to do it? Form a ring with the thumb and forefinger Then curl the other three fingers into the palms of the hands now with your arms facing upwards, lay your hands on your knees and take deep relaxed breath. Relax. Relax your hands and you relax your arms while observing the flow of your breaths. You need to concentrate on a breath. This mudra enhances digestion and improves the flow of energy in the body. Yes. The main thing that you need to do is, this is meant for your perfectness in your digestion and it increases the free flow of energy it is called the mudra of awareness the third one is vayu this is for balancing our body's air element as the name itself it implies fold your index finger in half with the base of your thumb press the second phalanx bone of your index finger straighten each hands remaining three fingers so that they are relaxed and slightly apart from these two fingers Hands and arms should be relaxed. It should be kept in a relaxed position. What does this mudra do is, in the expulsion of the excess air from the body, it relieves chest pain caused by trapped of the gases and other pollutions. Yes. So this is very important as far as the present scenario is being concerned because of the pollution which has been going on in the earth. Yes. Coming to the fourth. The fourth mudra is the Agni mudra. This mudra is for balancing your body's fire element as the name itself it implies. And moreover, if you have indigestion or acidity issue, this mudra is perfectly for you. Yes, my dear friends, how do you do this? Comes the question. Fold your ring finger and press the base of your thumb against the second phalanx bone. Straighten each hand's remaining three fingers so that they are relaxed and slightly apart from these three things. This mudra should be done on an empty stomach and in sitting early in the morning. Empty stomach, my dear friends, keep it in the mind. Empty stomach and you have to do every mudras, especially in the morning. This mudra aids in the reduction of abdominal fat, increases your metabolism and manages obesity. It also aids digestion and it also strengthens your body. Yes. Top it all, Agni Mudra is something where it balances your body's fire element. It ignites your mind. Yes, my dear friends. The fifth mudra is the fifth mudra is Varun Mudra. Varun Mudra is nothing but water. This mudra is balancing the water element of your body as the name itself it implies. You know, our body comprises of 80% of water. So that's why there is a close association between the body and as well as the cosmos touch the tip of your little finger the how you need to do is touch the tip of the little finger and the tip of your thumb together straighten each hands remaining three fingers so that they are relaxed and slightly apart from that now with the palms facing up place the hands on the knees hands and arms should be relaxed position what does this mudra do is this mudra aids in activation of fluid circulation in the body keeping it hydrated it prevents Appearance of pimples and treats skin illnesses and infections. Moreover, it gives your face a natural glow and relieve muscle problems. Yes, my dear friends, most of us in today's scenario and moreover, as the day is, uh, comes modernized, everyone wants to keep themselves uh, beautiful, handsome and at the same time, uh, youth actually, you have to concentrate on this because uh, everyone would be uh, looking to be stay away from pimples and other kind of skill, uh, skin illness so in order to be away from that definitely this would be the perfect mudra the varun mudra practice practice 
Sixth one is Prana Mudra. This mudra is for balancing your body's uh, life element. This yoga gesture strengthens your immune system. This is what is more important. It enhances your vision and helps you feel more energized by combating lethargy. The main thing which the problem with the COVID is most of them have low immunity power. So how to do this one? Bend your ring and little fingers and place the tip of the both of his fingers on the tip of your thumb. Straighten each hands other than two fingers. Keep them relaxed and slightly apart from them. Now with the palms facing up, place the hands on the knees. Hands and arms should be relaxed. And what is this mudra, prana mudra is for us? This mudra strengthens your immune system. This increases the power of your eyes and the clarity of your eyesight. It also elevates fatigue and treats eye disorders. Yes, prana mudra in simple, it always strengthens your immune system. The seventh one is shunya mudra, which is called sky. This mudra is also known as the paradise mudra. Yeah, paradise mudra. How to do this? Usually, your thumb, press the first phalanx of the middle finger. Straighten each hand's remaining three fingers so that they are relaxed and slightly apart from that. The middle finger should be folded. Hands and arms should be relaxed. This mudra relieves a righteous and aids person who are losing their hearing due to age or diseases. It aids the persons who are losing their hearing due to age or some sort of disease. It also aids in the treatment of motion sickness and vertigo. Yes, my dear friends. So, Shunya Mudra is uh, something amazing that it is called as a Paradise Mudra. Try to practice this Shunya Mudra. Eighth one is Surya Mudra. Surya Mudra is nothing but the sun. This mudra is for balancing the sun aspect of your body as the name implies. It takes sun's vitality. You must do this first thing in the morning. Press your ring finger with the thumb. Straighten each hand's remaining three fingers so that they are relaxed and slightly apart. Now with the palms facing up, place the hands on the knees and hands and arms should be relaxed. This mudra aids in the reduction of bad cholesterol and weight gain. It also helps in anxiety and digestion. It's very important. It's very important because it fades it even your weight, heavy weight and cholesterol and it fight against anxiety and also your digestion issues. Ninth one is Prithvi Mudra. Make a connection between the tip of your ring finger and tip of your thumb. Straighten each hand's remaining three fingers so that they are relaxed and slightly apart from that. Now with the palms facing up, placing the hands on the knees, hands and arms should be relaxed. So here comes the question, what does this mudra is especially for? It increases the blood circulation throughout the body. While meditating, it improves patience, tolerance and concentration. So that's what is the need of the heart. Because most of us, we are stuck up with a lot of anxiety, stress, pressure in our day-to-day -day work, in our day-to-day -day life. It also aids in the strengthening of weak and lean bones. And you see, surprisingly, what it does is it increases body weight as well as the reduction of weakness and mental dullness because there will be some people who may be very thin enough in the sense their body would not be that much capable caliber enough to do some physical works these all things would enhance us the last and final one is adi mudra first gesture this is a symbolic and ritualistic hand gesture used to die quiet mind and the nervous system in a spiritual yoga gesture Yes, my dear friends, when you practice this, you can make your mind to calm down and also ignite your nervous system. A light first, the fist in the form by placing the thumb at the base of the tiny finger and curling the other fingers over the thumb. This is how you have to do it. Now with your palms facing upwards, lay your hands on your knees and deep relaxed and have a breath concentrating on it. This mudra helps you prevent snoring and relaxing the nervous system. Yes, some of them have some problems like snoring and also most of them have some nervous issues. So to come out of this, Adi Mudra is more important. 
It also boosts the passage of oxygen to the brain and expands the lungs capacity. Yes, my dear friends, all these 10 mudras are amazing enough in bringing a great change for your life. Yes, my dear friends, I hope you could have enjoyed the 10 yoga mudra and how you need to do it and what are the benefits of it. Yes, my dear friends, practice it and also enhance the amazing benefits of yoga mudra and share it with your friends. Thank you for your patience for watching this video. Yes, my dear friends, kindly forward and share it with your friends. Knowledge is something where you can enhance it by sharing. Practice it and also forward to your friends, networks, relations. Yes, my dear friends, thank you for watching this video. Stay with us connected by subscribing Arise Roby and don't forget to click on the bell icon. Thank you. Bye-bye.